Welcome to our video analytics interview series. I'm very happy that I have Quang with me. He is the professional services manager for Access. Welcome, Quang. Cool. Thank you for having me here, Florian. So to start off, uh, can you tell us what can we offer together, Genetech and Access, to our end users? I think the biggest thing that we're focusing on is providing a lot of actionable intelligence to our end customers. I think there's a lot of advancements in the, the field of AI and deep learning that Access as a device manufacturer, we want to really provide some insights into the things that are happening and really tying that to an ecosystem with our partners like Genetech. Uh, can you name us uh, three things that really stand out for Access? So one of the things that really stand out at Access is first our hardware, right? You guys know that we back in 1999 when we got into the industry, uh, there was a very lack of uh, video encoding and decoding. So it started with our RPEC chipset. And that kind of evolved over the generations. And one unique thing about this is that with the technologies around AI and deep learning that's kind of coming into our industry the last couple of years, we were already kind of working with partners on that already. So with the last generation uh, devices with the RPEX 7, we already included a deep learning processing unit to really offload a lot of that analytics processing at the edge. And now with 2022, our, our latest generation chipset in RPEX 8, that's part of our SOC design. So it's included very natively on all of our products that are RPEX 8. So that is one of the differentiators is the hardware side. But then what's good with hardware if you don't have software to really drive that. So really the advancements and the evolution of our ACAP platform, that's our access camera application platform where a lot of our partners are writing applications and running them on the edge. They now have the ability to take advantage of all that rich metadata content information at the edge with our image processing to do some very unique analytics uh, that they can provide to our customers. You know, um, And then lastly, the biggest thing for us is that we're a leader in the image quality aspect. So from you know looking and focusing on image quality, that is really going to impact uh, the, how these analytics are being used at the edge. So it's not just quantity when it comes to this world of technology where they're building and training models off of a ton of videos and a ton of images, but if we can give them quality and quantity, the performance and the efficiencies of these type of analytics are going to be very exponentially improved. Yeah, and, uh, and the relationship between Axis and, and Genetech, of course, is very close. Yes. So all the cameras are greatly, neatly integrated into the Genetech Security Center, yep. which is also great. Uh, you mentioned ArtPay 8. Can you uh, share with us what's exciting, what's new with Axis? Yeah, so you know, they, we, we, we understand that the AI world kind of encompasses all parts of the spectrum, right? It really impacting us as edge device manufacturers, on-prem solutions, and even cloud-based solutions. So what we've been doing is we've been partnering with a lot of our cloud service providers to really enhance some of those solutions that are available from an analytics perspective that can't be done with an edge device or an on-prem device. And we're working on those type of connectors to also bring into uh, feature sets in there with a partner like Genetech so that our customers can utilize all aspects of the solution spectrum. And that's, uh, that, that's one area that we've been really focusing on. And then lastly, we, we just released uh, the Forensic Search plugin for the Genetech, and that uses our metadata. So really to uh, utilize what's being done at the edge and being classified and having that metadata tagging and offering the customers the ability to quickly search and identify specific features of what they're looking for really is a game changer in the industry. And it's really showing the benefits of our collaboration. Yeah, I absolutely agree. The Forensic Search plugin is really a leapfrog into yeah. the future and gives our customers really the ability to search through video very yeah. in a very nice way. Yeah, yeah, and the great thing with that is that since the plugin already exists, then other new metadata that we bring to the table is going to be there for your customers to use. So when we start to look at other devices like radar, like audio, all that data is going to be available for the customer to really take advantage of using the Genetech platform. Um, maybe to summarize, what are the three things that our customers should really think about access first. So the first thing is that you, a lot of people know that we're a very open um, system, right? So we're an open ecosystem and we're going beyond that even more with a lot of our development tools for our partners and the development community by going open source. And we think this is going to fuel innovation and technology as we bring in more developers outside of the security industry to see what they can do with our devices. Uh, the second thing is that, again, we talked about the hardware, and that hardware is really what's going to drive a lot of the adoption, is offering our customers the ability to, to kind of augment a lot of their solutions that are both cloud-based, on-prem-based, and out there on the edge. And then lastly, this technology is quite complex. It's going to take some time to learn a lot of this. So we have a dedicated team in our Access Professional Services team that I manage, that we go out there and we talk to our customers, we talk to our partners, and we help them understand the technology, and we help them build custom solutions that meet their specific needs. 
All right, it's very exciting. Uh, yeah. Quang, thank you for coming. Thank you for doing this. No, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Warren.